one of those startling stories that came out today. The food that you're feeding your little one may have arsenic in it. Researchers at Dartmouth University looked at different foods that use organic brown rice syrup as a sweetener, and they found arsenic in some of the foods, including organic baby formula. Researchers say at least one organic formula samples had six times the legal limit of arsenic the government allows in drinking water. Right now, there are no federal laws restricting how much of it can be in your food. Dr. Dan McGee is a pediatrician at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Doctor, thanks for coming in tonight. This is one that parents probably say, whoa, 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 what are you talking about here? Because organic food is something you assume is going to be natural and safe. Well, I think the term organic is, is fairly vague. I mean, there are certain criteria for organic, but just because it says organic or just because it says natural doesn't necessarily mean it's safe. They're using the brown rice as a substitute for so, sugar. They're using it as a substitute for high fructose, fructose corn, corn syrup, syrup, which is not good for you either. So there's the problem. Uh, any, either of these sweeteners apparently are not very good for your, you as an adult or particularly for your child. And this is a natural process that occurs with rice. We were just talking off camera about rice is grown in a flooded field. It absorbs maybe more water arsenic is in that water. Is this the process of what's happening here? Right. Arsenic is a naturally occurring substance. And I go back to my natural isn't necessarily good, but it's a naturally occurring substance. It's in the ground. It's in the groundwater. It can get absorbed up into the plant, concentrated in the plant. And then when you extract the syrup from that plant to use as a sweetener, you're concentrating it even further. So that's where the danger lies. What should you be looking for, I guess, on the back of one of these formula bottles? Well, right now, until I think things are a little bit clearer, if, you, if it shows that the sweetener is dark rice syrup or brown rice syrup, I wouldn't use it right now. If you have been feeding your child this organic baby food for some time and you might be worried, what signs should you be looking for for arsenic poisoning? Well, the symptoms are fairly ubiquitous. It's things like headache, nausea, diarrhea, cramping. It's something that occurs over a long period of time. The arsenic has to accumulate in the body, very similar to the way lead accumulates in the body and only causes its problems over time. If you are worried and you want to take your uh, child in, there is a test, I guess, right? You can get tested to see if you've got this in your system. Right. The best test is a uh, urine arsenic level. That, that is the best test. A blood arsenic level is not very accurate. So it is actually a urine test that you would have to talk to your pediatrician about having done. Do you have an understanding of why the government might not have any regulations about the uh, level of arsenic in food? Is it because it is a na naturally occurring substance that they just don't want to put a limit on that? Or what's going on there? Well, I think it's a very large loophole. The problem is, is that the government doesn't regulate anything that's for nutritional purposes well. They regulate medicines, they regulate antibiotics, but they don't regulate anything that's for nutritional purpose like vitamins or formulas. So keep an eye out. This is up to the parents, I guess. You've got to be vigilant if you don't want this stuff in your, your baby. Right. I think the best thing to do is just watch closely. And as I was talking to one of my partners before I came over here tonight, she said, I used to make my babies their own food. That was the best thing for me. So. Right. <laughs> maybe, maybe. If you have the time, though. Yeah, that's the problem. Dr. Dan McKee with Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Doctor, thanks for your time tonight. Thank you.